concept. Introduction, vision, main target, action plan, tasks performance. IMACC is a community of maritime figures, organizations and academies which has declared the improvement of maritime philosophy, strategy and ways of maritime education development as their main objective. IMACC is involved in setting up of alternative certification of seafarers in conformity with the International Convention on Standards of Training, Certification and Watchkeeping for Seafarers. STCW 1978 as amended, development of normative documents and performance of representative functions abroad. IMACC task is to provide our graduates competitive capacity in the world labor market owing to implementation of high-quality training standards, performance of all international and national requirements to the quality of seafarers training, taking into account the highest training demands of global leading shipping companies into the training programs. IMACC considers the proposals and legislative initiatives of all organizations irrespective of their strength and formal registration by the present state system and also implements its own proposals to update the assembly to achieve the worthy place in the world maritime system. IMACC undertakes to give effect to the provisions of the Convention and the Annex Z2, which shall constitute an integral part of the Convention. Every reference to the Convention constitutes at the same time a reference to the Annex. IMACC undertakes to promulgate all laws, decrees, orders and regulations and to take all other steps which may be necessary to give the Convention full and complete effect as to ensure that from the point of view of safety of life and property at sea and the protection of the marine environment, seafarers on board ships are qualified and fit for their duties. IMACC retains and implements new methods of training. The provisions of the Convention will not prevent IMACC from retaining or adopting other educational and training arrangements, including those involving seagoing service and shipboard organization, especially adapted to technical developments and to special types of ships and kinds of trades, provided that the level of seagoing service, knowledge and efficiency as regard navigational and technical handling of ship and cargo ensures safety at sea and has a preventive effect as regards pollution equivalent to the requirements of the Convention. Notwithstanding the certification requirements, the Academy may issue or authorize the issue of certificates different from those mentioned in Chapters A-1 and A-2-2 of the STCW Code, provided that the associated functions and levels of responsibility to be stated in the certificates and endorsements are selected from identical to those appearing in Sections A-1, A-2-2, A-2-3, A-2-4, A-2-5, A-3-1, A-3-2, A-3-3, A-3-4, A-3-5, A-4-2, A-3-5, A-4-2 of the STCW code. IMACC, as leading party authorized to issue the alternative certificates, ensures that the following principles should be observed. No alternative certification shall be implemented unless it ensures a sufficient degree of safety at sea and has a preventive effect as regards pollution at least equivalent that provided in the other chapters. IMACC Assembly, Council, IMACC Governing Board, IMACC Executive Committee, IMACC Public Relations Department, IMACC Investment Department, IMACC Independent Organizations Department, IMACC Academic Department, IMACC Diploma and Passport Department, IMACC Crew Management Department, IMACC Management Department. IMACC Innovation Department, IMACC Technical and Informational Department, IMACC Legal Department, IMACC Diploma. Executive Committee, Vice Chancellor of Technical and Informational Department, Vice Chancellor of Academic Department, Vice Chancellor on Methodical Work, Vice Chancellor on Legal Matters, Vice Chancellor on Financial Matters, Vice Chancellor of Personnel Department. Executive Committee 
functions, implementation of MACC assembly, decisions and policies, consulting and general assistance. Vice Chancellor of Academic Department. Vice Chancellor on Methodical Work. Vice Chancellor of Technical and Informational Department. Vice Chancellor on Financial Matters. Vice Chancellor of Personnel Department. Vice Chancellor on Legal Matters. Vice Chancellor of Academic Department. Organization and coordination of the academic staff working plan. Control of students' training cloud. Control of educational process quality and recording documentation. Selection and deployment of academic staff and improvement of their competency. Keeping the academic staff and additional staff time sheet. Vice Chancellor on Financial Matters. IMACC Management of Financial Resources Circulation and Financial Relations Regulation. Detection of financial sources. Negotiations with commercial banks, credit institutions, analysis of financial and economic condition of the academy. Management of assets. Cost analysis for purchase of raw and other materials. Determination of the academy investment policy on reporting and financial issues. Vice Chancellor on Methodical Work Organization and coordination of the methodical activity Revision and development of the methodical materials Predicting and planning of training, retraining and advanced training courses for administrators and other employees of the Academy Participation in prospective planning of methodical work of the Academy Publication of training tutorial guides Control of publishing activity, scientific journals, collections of MACC articles Vice Chancellor of Personnel Department, Staff Recruitment for the Required Positions, Development of Personnel Policy and Personnel Strategy, Employment, Deployment of Young Specialists, Registration, Hiring, Rotation and Internal Transfer of Workers as well as their dismissal in compliance with the Labor Legislation, Provisions, Instructions, Statute. Student Body Control Vice-Chancellor of Technical and Informational Department Development and assistance in acquiring innovative programs and technologies by academic staff Provision with the software of IMACC Organization and planning of training process computering Participation in assessment and adaptation of the created and purchased software for educational process Vice-Chancellor on Legal Matters Development and participation in drawing up of legal documents, provision of legal assistance for structural subdivisions in legal documents registration. Participation in preparation of well-grounded answers to legal letters, documents, contracts, recording and storing of completed judicial and arbitration affairs. Development and ratification contract and financial documentation. Representation of the Academy interests in the courts. I am ACC Academic Department, Faculty Members, Training Methodical Council, Training Process Control Committee, Control Education Quality Committee. Academic Department, Educational Process Subdepartment, Scientific Methodical Subdepartment, Graduating Student Certification Subdepartment, Professional C Skills Subdepartment, Dispatching Service. Educational Process Subdepartment is engaged in professional and teaching staff selection according to a staff list established in conformity with the regulations on appointing for vacant positions on a competitive basis and hiring of teaching staff, and also employment of additional personnel together with the chairs. Develops and amends curricular forms and calculates teaching law together with the deans and heads of chairs. Controls teaching law execution by chairs and lecturers. Plans, organizes and controls lecturers' advanced training. Employs lecturers hourly paid. Keeps record, analyzes the current student's progress and evaluates the examination results. Develops schedules of the training process. Organizes and conducts students' academic competitions and participation of winners in maritime academic competitions. Provides the control of lecturers' lessons and students' attendance, etc. 
consults all chairs of the Academy on teaching issues and teaching process organization. Scientific Methodical Subdepartment To develop a plan of control of chairs' methodical work and provide their sufficient methodical support of the subjects. To draw up plans of publishing, including electronic editions, textbooks and manuals with the seal ICC, short notes or the lectures. To develop methodical instructions to different types of studies, plans or the demonstration lectures conducted by the leading lecturers of the chairs using an interactive board and modern hardware, plans of the lectures conducted by the leading professionals of the branches connected with the academy specialists. To provide editing of instructive methodical materials and notes of the lectures on the subjects taught in IMASC. To coordinate work of the Academy Councils in specialities and chairman work of permanently functioning commissions or methodical council to control performance of plans and adopted decisions to consult them on methodical issues prepared for the meetings. To create IMASC database to create standard working programs on the IMASCC subjects, to participate in fulfillment of regulation concerning working training program of the subjects conducted by IMASCC lecturers, scientific methodical subdepartment, to consult the academy lecturers on structure, content and consideration order of training and working programs, to coordinate the work of scientific and methodical commission, to study and analyze new technologies of students' training, to organize work of permanently functioning psychological educational seminars and provide consultations of the seminal heads on methodical issues. To provide methodical support of progressive teaching skills. To organize annual scientific and methodical conference of the academy lecturers. To prepare conference materials for publishing. To inform chairs about the themes and terms of international conferences to oblige the lecturers to participate and to present their reports, to analyze materials of these conferences in order to distribute training innovation technologies in IMASCC, to collect, analyze and summarize the current and total results of educational, methodical, scientific work of the Academy Chairs. Professional C-Skills Subdepartment IMASCC Standard of Competency C-Skills Competence Requirements for Ships Electrical Officers Electrical Standard, Ships Electrical Offices, Shipboard LNG Cargo Operations, STCW Basis Safety for Seafarers, Standard of Security Offices Competency. Graduating Student Certification Subdepartment organizes work of state final examination commissions, collects and analyzes reports submitted by Chairman of State Final Examination Commissions. Prepares documentation of diplomas. Organizes issue of diplomas and appendixes. Issues the academic references, diploma duplicates and appendixes. Dispatching service. Makes up the timetable of classes and controls its performance. IMACC Legal Department accredited by Maritime Administrations. Nostrification. Documents equivalence verification. Consulting. Visas. Documentation Archive. IMACC Technical and Informational Department Documents Verification Maritime Documents Register Students' Data Identification Communicative Academic Information Support IMACC Diploma and Passport Department accredited by Maritime Administrations Diplomas and Siemens Books Issuer Documents Copies Assurance Sailing records execution, archive record issue, etc. IMACC Innovation Department, provision with resources, e-library database of training materials, material technical basis. Innovation Department, functions, provision with resources, e-library database of training materials, material and technical basis, tasks. Data search, implementation, improvement. First, provision with the resources. A. Work resources for improvement of management system quality. B. Resources for consumers and other parties' satisfaction. Suppliers and partners. 
to interact with suppliers and partners for support and simplification of informing to ensure the mutual improvement of productivity and efficiency of the processes. Natural and financial resources To develop plans or plans for action in case of unforeseen circumstances to ensure availability of the resources and to prevent or minimize negative effect on the academy activity. To develop plans to ensure availability and management of the financial resources. Industrial environment To create the industrial environment to achieve the working goals. Employees to determine competency and training level of employees, experience, collective work principles, communication skills, social behavior standards. Information To define the information needed to get access to the internal and external sources of information, to assess the number of advantages received due to information use, to improve the information and knowledge management. Second, e library database of the training materials. Free access to the joint intellectual capital of the educational institution for lecturers and students irrespective of their territorial location. User can get access to review and store training materials by means of Internet site or special mobile application for the tablets and smartphones. Digital educational materials are stored in the e-library. APT, TIFF, PDF, PowerPoint presentations, MP3 audio files. Third, material and technical bases. Set of the tangible products and means of production. Registration of the available material resources. Arrangement of data about the condition of material and technical bases. Control of the essential elements correctness. Registration of the personnel data. Indication of the document's essential elements. List of available rooms and their equipment. Tasks To study prospective trends of the educational process. To receive, develop and implement new educational materials. To organize approbation and implementation of new training methods to provide informational support of the lecture halls and the academy functioning, to ensure active participation in the academy technical modernization, to improve staff training methods, to implement the Internet resources in the educational process, to improve quality management system, to ensure competency, to involve new partners, to implement innovations, to control documents, I am ASCC Independent Organizations Department, representatives of Academic Department, Independent Experts, Trustees Council of Insurance Fund, Pension Fund, Independent Organizations, Independent Experts, Trustees Council of Insurance Fund, Pension Fund, representatives of Academic Department, Independent Experts, Functions To collect data, to draw up documentation, to control working process of the academy departments, to determine normative amount of resources necessary for performance of required tasks, to develop working documentation, to arrange technical and executive documentation, to verify working documentation in compliance with the rules, to determine the correct arrangement of documentation and working process performance, to perform quality control. Trustees Council of Insurance Fund Member of Council Besse Chairman Secretary Functions To provide financial assistance for seafarers and their families To monitor insurance fund and supervise distribution and collection of monetary resources To organize experts' consultations To control performance of required work concerning insurance fund To keep records Representatives of Academic Department Postgraduate Education Center Distant Education Center Online Training Training and Advisory Centers Educational Innovations Functions To control the educational process and license To provide experience exchange To control professional competence level of lecturers To provide information exchange concerning the latest changes in the educational process Governing Board President, Vice President, Chancellor, Vice Chancellors 
Chancellor considers proposals and submits the next year project plan for adopting by governing board meeting. Recommendation accepted by the Governing Board for the Council and Academic Department considerations should be arranged in orders and instructions on the basis of which decisions of the Governing Board come into force. Lecturers and employees have the right to familiarize with Governing Board materials concerning them personally. The Scientific Council of the Governing Board issues extracts from its permissions. Once a year, the information on their execution is submitted to the Governing Board meeting. Governing Board activity is carried out according to the Annual Working Plan. Suggestions to the Annual Working Plan are submitted to the Secretary by members of the Board. Drafts of decisions on the issues included in the Governing Board agenda are submitted for discussion to the Chancellor who gives his recommendations. The final decision on all issues is made by the Chancellor. Governing Board materials are included into the protocol in term of three days. Governing Board meeting date is appointed by the Chancellor. Crew Management Department Cooperation Agreement Subscription with International Crewing Agencies Recording of seafarers in the database of IMACC Employment Exchange IMACC Clients Database IMACC Assembly Staff Crew Management System Marine management offers a wide range of crewing services that are grouped in two fundamental crew manning options. A. Basic recruitment solution. This is the basic crew management service, offering client of ship owners crew department with a low-cost solution covering all aspects of seafarers' recruitment, crew selection, interview, previous services, preparation, medical examination, certification review. Seafarer's visa, flag certification, flight arrangements, certification follow-up, rejoining program, ITF-IBF coverage. B. Total crew management solution. This is the complete crew management solution offering best value for money services to ship owners by undertaking all crew-related operations ashore. In addition to the services offered in the basic recruitment solution, crewing agency offers following services. Complete recycling program, victualing, insurance. A. Basic recruitment solution. This is the basic crew management service offering clients, ship owners, crew department with a low cost solution covering all aspects of seafarers' recruitment. Crew selection. With the establishment of very strict procedures for crew interviewing and selection, marine management guarantees the effective crew selection in terms of skills, experience, and motivation to work. Interview. All officers selected for employment are interviewed for their English abilities by marine port captains either during their regular visits in the manning agency offices around the world or over the phone teleconferencing facilities. Previous services. A reference from previous employees are obtained to ensure that each seaman has successfully served on his previous vessels and his performance attitude was professional. Preparation. Once approved, the seamen are prepared for joining with all necessary certificates in accordance with national and international regulations as well as with owners' standing instructions. Moreover, our mining agencies have the necessary presentation facilities to conduct familiarization training to approve seafarers according to ship owners' ISM requirements. Medical examination. Approved seafarers are passing medical and drug and alcohol examinations in reliable medical centers in accordance with owners' P&I club requirements, if applicable. Certification review. Specially trained personnel is checking the certification of approved seafarers to confirm that they are holders of all certificates necessary with respect to their position, the type and the flag of the vessel. Validity and genuinity of certificates is verified through the respective national and flag authorities. Criminal record of seafarers is obtained in order to comply with vessels' SSP requirements. Seafarers visa is arranging seafarers visa whenever such is required for the seamen to be allowed to fly and join vessels in particular countries. For urgent crew replacements, Schengen and or USA visa can be arranged at short notice.
flag certification. Marine Agency is arranging timely issuance of flag endorsement and all other applicable flag certification, SBKs, stickers, etc., in accordance with flag administration requirements. Flight arrangements. Through affiliated travel agency, crewing agency can make all necessary traveling arrangements for on-signing and off-signing crew members at very competitive prices and liaise with vessel's local agents and the master for coordinating the whole replacement process. Seafarer's visa is arranging seafarer's visa whenever such is required for the seamen to be allowed to fly and join vessels in particular countries. For urgent crew replacements, Schengen and or USA visa can be arranged at short notice. Flag certification. Marine Agency is arranging timely issuance of flag endorsement and all other applicable flag certification, SBKs, stickers, etc., in accordance with flag administration requirements. Flight arrangements. Through affiliated travel agency, crewing agency can make all necessary traveling arrangements for on-signing and off-signing crew members at very competitive prices and liaise with vessel's local agents and the master for coordinating the whole replacement process. Certification follow-up. Crewing agency is following up expiry of certificates and other documents of the seaman and will inform you about expiring certificates, including vaccination, medical examination certificates, etc., in due time so as to renew them or replace the respective seaman. Rejoining program. In cooperation with company's crew department and or master of clients' vessels, there can be established a comprehensive rejoining program in order to ensure better reemployment of ex-company seafarers and timely replacement of seamen completing their services, making, if requested, all repatriation arrangements. ITF-IBF coverage. Being a member of the National Maritime Employment Committee, marine management can offer full coverage and compliance with the International Bargaining Forum Agreement. B. Total Crew Management Solution – this is the complete crew management solution offering best value for money services to ship owners by undertaking all crew-related operations ashore. In addition to the services offered in the basic recruitment solution, crewing agency offers following services. Complete Recycling Program through a complete recycling program covering all necessary incentives for the seaman, Marine Agency can guarantee high reemployment rates for all key positions on board the vessel. Vitling complete, cost effective, and quality provision of crew vitals all around the world. Insurance. Insurance to cover all owners PI club deductible expenses related to the crew and the obligations of the owners arised by the crew contracts of employment and the international conventions and the shipping practice. I'm ASCC Public Relations Department. Interrelation with intergovernmental organizations. International cooperation with maritime associations. Academy members in different countries. I am ACC Public Relations Department, Global Maritime Education and Training Association, League of Arab State, International Chamber of Shipping, International Shipping Federations, International Federation of Shipmasters Associations, European Commission, Maritime Institute, International Association of Independent Tanker Owners, Cruise Lines International Association, International Ship Managers Association, International Maritime Health Association, International Association of Maritime Universities, IMACC Investment Department, IMACC Governing Board, IMACC Investors, IMACC Creditors, IMACC Contractors, IMACC Assembly Staff, IMACC Investment Department. Structure I'm ACC Governing Board I'm ACC Contractors I'm ACC Investors I'm ACC Creditors Functions To define investment policy of the enterprise, conditions of insurance and ensure guarantees against non-commercial risks To provide income, receiving timely To determine tax policy of the enterprise 
to ensure the records of the financial means circulation and draw up the authentic accounting records of the financial activity results. To ensure the records of the financial means circulation and draw up the authentic accounting records of the financial activity results. To organize keeping reports of the financial issuers for heads and owners of the enterprise. I'm ASC Governing Board, Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, Academic Council, Legal Advisor. I'm ASC Contractors, organizations to which a set of the internal services provided by I'm ASC can be transferred. I'm ASC Investors. Persons, organizations, a shipping company, a state which make the capital investments connected with the risk aimed at receiving profit or result. I'm ACC creditors. Members of credit relations, private and legal persons which have available funds at their disposal and transfer them in temporary use. Functions To define investment policy of the enterprise according to the following points. Conditions of the production market, volumes of its output, financial and economic condition of the enterprise, technological level of production, combinations of own and loan resources, financial conditions of the investment in the capital market, the privileges received by the investor from the state, commercial and budget effectiveness of investment actions, conditions of insurance, and receiving guarantees against non-commercial risks, etc. To provide yearly revenue of incomes, arrangement of the financial accounting and banking operations due to the fixed period, payment of suppliers and contractors invoices, vendors, cancellation of loans, payment of percents, workers and employees' salaries, transfer payment to bank institutions. To provide tax policy of the enterprise and organize tax budget development. To provide transfer of the taxes and fees to federal, regional and local budgets, to state non-budget social funds stipulated by the legislation. To manage the development of the standards of financial accounting standards and their interconnection with the accounting records, the report forms which haven't been approved at normal and legal level, terms, system of information streams and document circulation, etc. To provide the records of financial means circulation and to draw up the reports of the financial activity results according to the standards of the financial accounting and reporting, reliability of financial information, to control the correctness of the development and arrangement of the reporting documentation, to organize work of keeping records on the financial issuers for heads and owners of the enterprise. I am ACC Assembly. Structurally, the assembly will consist of IMASCC investment department with its own internal units. IMASCC government, contractors, investors, creditors, members of the committee will be elected by the assembly. IMACC International Assembly is a community of maritime authorities, organizations and maritime academies which has declared the improvement of maritime philosophy, strategy and ways of maritime education development as their main objective. After its foundation, the Assembly will unite the representatives of different maritime public organizations and states considers proposals and legislative motions, implements its own objectives to update the Assembly to achieve the worthy place in the world system of maritime education. The target of MASC is to make our graduates competitive in the world labor market owing to introduction of high-quality training standards, performance of all international and national requirements for seafarers training, including the highest training demands of global leading shipping companies into the training programs. Fundamental documents of MASC are Maritime Declaration proclaiming the foundation of International Maritime Assembly ICC. Charter defining tasks of its members. Council. Controls academy activity. Issues orders. Submits the academy budget to the assembly. Accepts standards, rules and procedures. Develops strategic planning. 
approves working plans. Management Department Representative in all organizations Carries out public control to reserve the rights and interests of the Academy employees Self-Administration Committee Structural unit of the Academy providing implementation of the Academy policy on self-management issues Tasks to draw up and implement the vectors aimed at the local self-management development to provide organizational methodical support of the local self-management activity. To submit latest information concerning committee activity to the governing board. To render advisory assistance to the self-administration committee. Staff Association – public organization created by the employees to protect their social interests. Tasks – to participate in public opinion formation. To participate in development and implementation of the target programs to involve the material and intellectual resources for ensuring activity support, to render social help to the Academy employees. IMACC Diploma IMACC Diploma will be worked out as alternative, global, irrespective of national and territorial origin document according to the ICC standard with the official Academy seal. IMACC will develop alternative and training curriculum in training, refresher and updating training, certification of seafarers and employees of maritime industry in compliance with the International Convention STCW 1978 as amended. After finishing training, the Academy Diploma will be issued. IMACC will be entitled to issue the Diploma of Approved Standard and Level of Qualification, certified by IMACC SEAL, to persons successfully completed their training in accordance with implemented or education programs and passed final attestation. The Diploma of Appropriate Training Level and Qualification issued by IMACC gives their holders the same rights as provided by the State Diploma of Adequate Education Level and Qualification. Having adopted the Manila Amendments to the International Convention on Standards of Training, Certification and Watchkeeping for CIFRS 1978 and to the CIFRS Training, Certification and Watchkeeping Code as amended, STCW Convention and Code, IMACC has noted with concern the reported and anticipated shortage of qualified officers to effectively man and operate ships engaged in the International Maritime Carriage of Cargo's system. Having into consideration that the effectiveness of selection, training and certification process may be evaluated only by assessment of knowledge, skills, abilities and competency, fully exercised by seafarers in the process of sea service on ships. IMACC Diploma ensures the fulfillment of the following obligations. To obtain and implement into practice the highest standards of technical knowledge, skills and professional competency demonstrated by seafarers during their service on board ships. To control the compliance of personnel competency levels with conventional requirements and standards. To monitor carefully and review frequently the progress made by junior personnel in their acquisition of knowledge and skills during their service on board ships to provide refresh and updating training at suitable intervals or should be occasion arise, to take all appropriate measures to instill pride in the maritime profession and encourage the creation of safety culture at sea and the improvement of environmental culture. IMACC Diploma IMACC Diploma recognizes the significant contribution made to seafarers training and certification through modal courses, validated and published by the International Maritime Organization, providing core curriculum based on the minimum requirements of the STCW Convention and Code, and takes into consideration that the aforementioned modal courses have assisted many training institutions to improve the quality of the training, they provide and have been used to improve procedures of assessing competency and achieve greater uniformity in the application of the training and assessment provisions of the STCW Convention and Code. 
Being aware that more than 90% of world trade cargoes are carried by sea and recognizing the seafarers are the major participants of the shipping industry that contributes significantly to global and sustainable development and prosperity. Recognizing also the need for today's increasingly sophisticated ships to be entrusted to seafarers who are competent in all respects to operate them in a safe, secure, efficient and environmentally sound manner. Noting with concern the reported and anticipated shortage of qualified officers to effectively man and operate ships, Convention recommends all administrations, shipping companies, ship owners, ship managers, seafarers associations and any concerned entities to do their utmost to promote among young persons a career at sea and to retain existing seafarers within the industry. In this respect, IMACC does everything possible to assist young persons who have chosen the profession of seafarers and have issued the IMACC diploma by adopting and maintaining the following priorities. Engendering a more favorable public perception, in particular among young people of the maritime industry. Promoting a greater awareness and knowledge among young people of the opportunities offered by a seafarers profession taking all appropriate measures to instill pride in the maritime profession, encourage the creation of a safety culture and environmental conscience, encouraging all officers serving on their ships to participate actively in the training and monitoring of junior personnel during their service on board ship, encouraging the provision of adequate accommodations and working conditions for trainee on new build ships. IMACC Diploma Noting the long and medium-term plans for the integration of women in the maritime sector developed by the IMO, regarding support for their latest aims to promote the training of women in the maritime sector, adopted by the International Labour Conference of the International Labour Organization on 22 February 2006, considering highly desirable that both men and women have equal free access opportunities to maritime training and deployment on board ships. Pay attention to gender problem in maritime education and promote greater participation of women in maritime training at all levels in the maritime industry. To support the provision of on-the-job training opportunities so that women may acquire the appropriate level of practical experience required to enhance professional maritime skills. IMACC Diploma endeavors so that women can participate full and without hindrance in seafaring activities in order to facilitate effectively the achievement of Millennium Development Goals and promote gender equality and empower women. The order of obtaining a license in educational activity and accreditation of International Maritime Academy SSC is established by IMSC government. Conclusion Noting that all leading countries around the world pay particular attention and implement the policies of modernization and development of education systems in all fields including the maritime sector, the International Maritime Academy SSC as the center of high-level maritime education and research undertakes and fulfills the obligations and responsibilities to provide uniformity and effective implementation of IMO goals aimed a highly qualified maritime personnel training. Efficient maritime education system is the barest necessity for economic development and social prosperity, ensuring the economic improvement of individual trading nations, their businesses and their workforces. The IMO Assembly adopted Resolution A680-17 by which it further recognizes the need of appropriate organization of management on board ships in order to achieve and maintain the highest standards of safety, security regulations, environmental protection. It will require high levels of knowledge acquisition, appropriate professional training and approved certification of specialists engaged in maritime business. 
For the purpose, the International Maritime Academy SSC constantly promotes the highest standards in maritime transportation, taking into account modern developments such as containerization, multimodal transport, e-commerce and competitive, efficient transport markets worldwide. IMACC will seek to bring together shippers and carriers to elaborate global business positions on issues such as liberalization, competition and environment protection. International Maritime Academy SSC will realize the following practical aims. To increase the number of highly qualified personnel involved in cargo transportation, noting that the number of international containerized cargo movement is expected to rise substantially, the number of loaded TEUs handled by the world ports may rise by 8 to 10 percent per year. Trans-Pacific cargo transportation is estimated to grow at 10 to 12 percent this year. Russia's container traffic is rising by per year. Container traffic between China and its trading partners will continue to expand to cope with surge in container traffic. A great number of qualified, competent, well-skilled and well-trained maritime specialists for port, terminal and ship operations is required now. International Maritime Academy SEC will realize the following practical aims. To implement the International Convention on Standards of Training, Certification and Watchkeeping for Seafarers 1978 as amended. To respond to current and future customers' requirements. To render consultants' services on key international issues of importance to maritime business. To promote the market economy system based on free fair competition activities to undertake research activities in field of maritime safety and security, fighting against pirates for the benefit of the whole maritime business community.